Father, we praise your name. We give you glory, Lord. Gondoriana Mama Sade, Eshene Mama Mado, Ila Mama Mama Sade, Ipoto Valana Cananio, Ere Tondosia Nana, Ere Cododosia, Uzende Bebrecia, Uria Tama Mamo, Eco Tulia Mama Sade, Ele Mama Mato, Noli Mama Sande, Ishidi and Mama Mado, Ere Setterio. Masondo de Brevesio, Ico Colo Mama, Ila Mama Sande Rebo, Sumili Mama Sande, Father, we worship you, we give you praise, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be absolute silence before the Lord. The Lord is indicative. Lift up your hands, close your eyes. Yes, Holy Ghost. Father, forgive whoever's phone is ringing at this hour. Lift up your hands, connect. Jesus. 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 Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Mr. Elizabeth, there's an anointing coming upon you right now. You won't be able to stand on your feet. It's heavy, it's weighty. But this year, somebody stand behind her because there is power coming all over you, woman of God. That is it, that's it. Just put her on the chair. Lift up your hands, everybody. Lift up your hands. There's a touch of God. Ali Kadush, Kavali Gadush, Kavali Gadush, Kavali Maanda. Change is coming to your life. Change is coming to your life. Amen. I say, change is coming. Hallelujah. There are three people here. The Lord just opened your heavens. Your heavens are just open. I just see. The glory of God coming upon you, three of you, wherever you are, Holy Ghost, locate and touch them now. Locate and touch them. Mas kabanda la kadush, kavali kadush, la bali kadush, kavadas one, kabali kadush, kovali baande, zigaba two more, Lord. Your heaven just open in a way that you will know that it is God. Ya palaba two more, kabashanda. I see what, oh, that's number two. One more, one more. Yes, mama, there's power all over you. One more. Ya kalalabo shata, Holy Ghost. Yes, kabala kadush kava. Zikalaba, touch, Lord. Touch for your own glory. Kabala baba, somebody. Kabandush kavaliba anda, la kadush kovaliba ande. That's it. One in the choir, one over Tamazu. Yes, 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 yes. That's power. That's power. Holy Ghost, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is power on you, Dr. Echo. There is something coming for not just the people you minister and work with, but for your family. That is it. That's it. That's it. It's landing on you like a dove. That is it. That is it. Kamandush kava zagabosh kava le palagadosh kovaliba ande zupali. Lift up your hands, people of God. Lift up your hands, people of God. My daughter from Dallas is all over you. As Kabala Kadush Kavala Basanda. 
There is a torch coming to you. My daughter from Dallas with your husband. I see a shifting. I see a shifting. And I see the opposing wind being opposed by the wild wind of God in your life. Ah, son, that is it. It's all over you. It's all over you, my son from Dallas. That's the power. Somebody stand behind him. I see an angel touch you now. Thank you, Jesus. Kamaradush. Abali kandari mama mama. Mariana, that's the power. There's an angel standing be near you, Mariana. Mariana, somebody stand near her. That's the angel of God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Arushka bandurishkava. Indili kadushka bandili gadushkava. My young man near brother Chris with your hands lifted. I see an angel touching you. The young man before brother Gare. Lift up your hand touching your head. Come on lift up your hand. There's an angel by your side right now. And the angel is going to drop something on your head like oil. It will be fresh and cold. And he said I am anointing you for 2023. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. That's it all over you young man. That's it all over you. All over you. I just saw the angel drop it <laughs> if you have faith you got it come mazuli handalaba ye kamanduli bashata liba le kamali kanduli mashata ah sister gold come here come here come here run 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 lift up your hands woman of god lift up your hands <laughs> can i have somebody behind sister gold i remove and i see the power the anointing to activate your spiritual give an anointing out of you coming upon you the power of God touch her now. Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? It's all over you. It's all over you. It's all over you. Kabbalah da 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 bashat alim. Help her. Thank you, Lord. Choir, get ready. There's a sweet Holy Spirit in this land. Choir, lift up your hands. You don't have to sing. Is the spirit of the Lord. Lift up your hands, quiet. Zuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuz
for the gas company that in the time of shortage you will be the supplier lift up your hands and receive the anointing for wealth the anointing for your next level and the Lord said if you be diligent to serve him if you be diligent to make sure whatever I put in your hand goes to the kingdom I have made up my mind to make sure that men will know that I am your father, I am your God, for I see keys being given to you. Receiving now, receiving now, receiving now. The power of God is coming upon you. it, does it, does it, does it. I see the angel blow into your face and said, I have anointed him to make well. You can stand on your feet because the power of God does it, does it, does it, does it the angel is still blowing Ashkapa Shata receive it, receive it, receive it receive it, receive it Ashkamala does it all over you clap your hands for Jesus thank you Lord be seated for a minute we don't have much time I want to have a lot to do how many of you brought your bread, your loaf of bread? Stand up. Let me do that act and they will move on. If you brought your loaf of bread, stand to your feet. This is not the time we'll beg people to obey divine instruction. If you brought it, lift it up to the Lord. Lift up your loaf of bread. Stand with your bread and lift it up. It was announced last night. I know we closed and you couldn't have time to buy. Don't beg. You can bring yours next Sunday. Lift it up to the Lord. Father, I stand on your word in Exodus 23. Project it. Verse 25. You say you shall serve the Lord your God. And he will bless your bread and your water. He will take away barrenness from you. He will take away sicknesses and diseases. He will take away miscarriage. He will take away the enemies and they will turn their back and run away. Today I prophesy upon that loaf of bread that this year as you serve God faithfully, you will be a bread supplier. Bread represents money. You will give to others you will not borrow you will give to multitude you will not borrow in your house there will be abundance of bread in the name of Jesus you are blessed going out blessed coming in I command that piece of bread to become the mystery of divine abundance that as you eat it with your family this year will yield its best to you I bless your bread I bless your source of bread I bless your income I bless your house also, and I bless your life in Jesus name amen be seated as I go through the service I will bless the others did you bring your oil or your honey who brought their honey okay stand to your feet stand to your feet did you bring your salt okay those who have a stand with this element we have to go rapidly if you didn't bring church next week bring it this is a divine instruction. Don't say we've been doing it. It's not about we've been. It's about what I receive. Quickly. Kamando, just open mine. Lipali Kadush, give me the big one. Zutalaba Kaduli Bashanda. This year, the oil will make a difference. Amen. The oil represents the anointing of God. Yes. Take your oil and your soul, stand up. Father, I stand on Psalms 92. Verse 10, you said you will exalt our horn like that of a unicorn. Lord, you said you exalt our horn like that of a unicorn. And you will anoint us with fresh oil. The oil of last year was good for last year. But this is a new year, Lord. We need a fresh anointing. We need fresh oil. Refresh the anointing upon our life on a daily basis. You said in Isaiah 10, 27. He said the anointing break the yoke. By this anointing, everything that has yoked your life, yoked your family, yoked your finances, yoked your health, be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. I 
command you all a change from the chemistry made by man from olive uh, to the mystery of the anointing oil that makes a difference uh, in Jesus name Amen. open anoint yourself but before then lift up your salt father I thank you because your word say we are the salt of the earth hallelujah Ah, kadush kavali baanda. Ah, salt bring taste to food. Salt is also used to heal. Salt is also a substance for income. As you lift up that salt in the area in your life that was bitter, may the salt of God change it now in the name of Jesus. Any life here that had no test, from today there will be tests in your life and you will distribute tests to other people. I release you to be the salt of the earth. Go with the healing power, with the power to change a bitter or test situation to have test uh, and be the salt uh, of this city, this state, this nation, and this generation. Uh, may that salt uh, begin with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Put that salt down. Open your oil. Quickly put touch your head. Uh, and those who didn't bring, there is an oil God gave me. I promise to anoint you. Yes, sir. This is the year that you will learn to do things for yourself. This church is not a daycare. It's not a babysitting institution. It's a Holy Ghost boot camp training in Jesus' name. Now, the next thing I want to quickly do. How many of you brought your honey? If you have honey, lift it up. If you have honey, Azuka Balika Dalabo Shanda. Let's the remaining oil. The doctor Echo come. You were not here yesterday, so I forgive you. Those who were not here yesterday, stand to your feet. Take. No, no, there. Hey, my baby is in church. Wow. Sister Nina, come, come. Clap your hands. Mama, you were not here. Go share with your doctor Echo. You didn't go share with Dr. Echo. Mama, come. Come on. The woman of God, come. Yes, you are looking behind. You are taking it by force, by violence. We should know. Yeah, give me, give me. Thank you. Thank you. For what? Your glass, Lord. Father, we bless it. In Jesus' name. Mama ate it. I know you would have loved to be here, but you were not here. I don't know who's there. You have the spray one? Bring it. Okay. If you were not here because you were supposed to be here, sorry. <laughs> you were sick? Okay, come. I bless you. Where are the spray one? Give them to me. Come on. You don't look sick. You look more beautiful. <laughs> you look, you look slimmer and more glorious in Jesus name, amen that's it, we don't have more okay we'll give you more hallelujah, praise the Lord lift up that honey father in Exodus 12 Exodus 3 you began to tell Moses, say go deliver my people from the land of bondage from the land of bitterness I'm taking them to a land flowing with milk and honey. Lord God, when I went to Israel, I saw that indeed your word is true. It is a land flowing with milk and honey. Excuse me. Father, as they lift up honey in their hands, by the Spirit of God, may you enter the place flowing with your own milk and honey. May your amen be tangible. Amen. That which will sweeten your life, that which will sweeten your family, that which will sweeten your finances and your destiny, may the Holy Ghost release it now. In the name of Jesus. By this honey. 
This year, I decree and declare, may it be a sweet year for you. May the rest of your life be sweet. And may your family benefit from your sweetness. May this church and this generation benefit in Jesus' name. Congratulations. You can lick a little. Something good is about to happen. There's a sweet Holy Spirit in this land. Lift up your hands. And I know it's the Spirit of the Lord. Come on, sing it. As a sweet, as fresh in this land. Jesus name learn that song choir everybody stand to your feet please stand to your feet please Osha make sure all our youths are inside and I don't want any seat in front of you move to the seat in front of you we are on live television can we give a big hand clap to brother Ayo and the crew clap celebrate them they have many other churches they could have spent their time, but they chose Zion from last night with this beautiful wife. Can you celebrate them? Clap your hands. Hallelujah. God bless you. So make sure you are smiling. Don't let the people in Africa think you are strange so that they too can come. So make sure you look as if everything is together because in the name of Jesus, it will be together. Somebody say amen. Let's go to our theme scripture. The book of Joshua, chapter 1. I beg you, know this scripture by heart. Especially the verses I will give you. I plead with you. You can tell it's not my word. Because of what God said. Before you read it. Following the global prophecy. Please, I beg you. The economic meltdown coming. Prepare yourself. We have the next three months. Use your money wisely. Somebody say amen. amen. God gave us two years, 2020, 2021 and 2022 for world transfer. There's nobody here that can say money did not enter their hands in 2021 and 2022. But how did you use the money? How did you use the money? You spend it on trivial things. We are having 40 days fasting starting from next Monday. May God help us to enter back in our old clothes. Don't go buying things that you already have. Women, some of you have enough handbags that we can do. What do we call, uh, how do you call it? Garage sale. <laughs> you have enough shoes. You have enough makeup stuff. You have enough jewelry. This is not the season for those things. Men, you don't have to buy to show off. All these ordering things, it's not necessary. The car you have, if it is working, service it and use it well. Amen? Amen. 
to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Then there will be demonstration on streets of nation like never before. May we pray for this nation against this gun control thing, that these guns already is late because the guns are in the hands of the wrong people already. So we need to pray for our children, our generation. Amen. And we need to step up our prayer again in the area of, let me look in the book because these are notes that I wrote down. In the area of our health, this year, take care of your health. Take care of yourself. The sickness of the Egyptians will not come upon Amen. us. Let me advise our men. Don't hate doctors. African men, especially our own people, they don't. Men, please hear me, hear me. There are some health issues that you can avoid by just going on medical check. Am I talking to real people? Take care of your health. Take care of your diet. If I told you the type of things God told me to eat this year, you know, I say, but Lord, I don't like it like Peter. I don't like this. He said, it will help your health and your strength. The journey is far. Am I talking to real people? These global prophecies are important because the way the world will go will affect you and me directly or indirectly. Another area, if you've invested in this, I don't want to call their name, please go back to God. These are the three areas that will, four areas that will prosper. Medical will prosper this year, mark my word. They will discover another viral that will be epidemic, not pandemic. Are you hearing me? <laughs> Let me look at my note. Investing in the medical field, you will never lack a job or lack wealth. Number two, agriculture. Child of God, those who have land, if you have land back home, tell them to start farming. Stop sending money to buy them new clothes. Send money for them to plan, plan. Amen. Send money for them to do poultry, piggery, all those things. Number three, those who have access to do genuine gas and oil, invest in it. Invest in it. And number four, child of God, you see this thing called education. It won't be four walls, it will be IT. Am I making sense? Our children listen to this so that you can know which direction to go in school. IT is taking over. And some of us that didn't like to see computer, we must go back to school. Upgrade yourself. Let's read this scripture and I will give you a few ways to upgrade and then we'll share grace and go home. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 1 verse 1 Now after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua the son of Nun Moses minister saying Moses my servant is dead now therefore arise and go over this Jordan thou and all these people unto the land which I do give to them even to the children of Israel Every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, towards the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life, as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Amen. 
Be strong and of good courage, for unto these people shalt thou divide for inheritance the land which I swore unto thy fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to the law which Moses my servant commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper with it, sorry, but thou goest. Yes. This book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then Thou shalt have, let's complete together, good, good success. success. Verse 9, let's read verse 9 together. Have I not, not commanded no, thee? No, ready, go. Have, have I, I not commanded, commanded thee? thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Is with thee. With Wheresoever thou goest. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is he that goeth with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we believe your word. Let the zeal of the Lord perform it. Amen. Holy Ghost, we yield to you. Do only what you want to do in this service. And by the end of it, all glory is yours. The devil put to shame. Your people are strengthened. And they take courage to subdue and conquer. In Jesus' name we pray. Before you sit down, give somebody a high five and say, Neighbor, neighbor be, strong be strong and courageous. And courageous. Neighbor, be strong. And courageous. Be seated. Be seated in heavenly places. Thank you. Hallelujah. I said, and I don't want to repeat, no empty seat in front of anybody. If there's an empty seat in front of you, step into it. The word strong in Hebrew is strong. I can't even pronounce it. It means powerful. It means mighty. It means solid. It means intense. It means unwavering determination. Are you listening? The word strong means Powerful. It means might. It means solidity, unshakable. Nigeria, they say no shaky. No shaky. It means intensity. It means unwavering determination. The word courage in Hebrew is courage, which means brave or bravery, fearlessness, boldness. It means a lion heart. It means audacity. It means unfringing. For God himself to come to Jeshua he didn't tell Joshua that because I'm going with you, be weak. He didn't tell Joshua because I'm the almighty and I'm taking you to the new land, be weak. He said, Joshua, be strong and courageous. <laughs> Joshua, you can't afford to be weak. You can't afford to be 
Year a little, day a little. You can't afford to be manipulated and controlled by your emotion. You must be determined. You must set your face as a flint. You must look forward and not backward. Am I talking to somebody? This is a year that you don't need a crowd to go to where you are going. This is a year that your solidity in God will determine how far you go. Your character, your attitude. Ah, your relationship with God will change your story. I don't know why I came to tell the word of God today. This is not the year for the weakly. It is the year for the strong and courageous. It is the year for the risk taker. It is a year for those who have made up their mind. Come rain, come sun. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No matter what may, my mind is made up unto Jesus looking up to Yeshua, the author and finisher of my faith. I can't be distracted. Whether you come or you don't come, I am following this Jesus all the way, all the way. I don't know who I'm preaching to. Hear me the word of God for you this year. Be strong in the Lord. Shalom. Be strong. Be strong. Lord, show me something. There's a shaking coming this year. Only they that have their anchor in God and his word will stand. Many are going to fall by the wayside. I see churches being <laughs> moved and exposed. I see the mighty coming down. I see the mega names. <laughs> There's one I'm really praying that it should not happen because it will be Global and our young people that have been falling will be distracted because they have every man made system in place, but the Holy Ghost is not in it. Everything and even the singing reflect like God is in it, but it's mechanically. Technologically manipulated. But not in this church. Ah, you will hear the truth. You will hear the raw word. You will hear the Lord say, This is the way. Walk ye in. He said, Joshua, I have commanded you. Only be that strong and courageous. Have I not said it, Joshua? Be strong and courageous. Because where you are going is too good, but there are obstacles on the way. Number one, you will meet a Jericho wall. You are not strong. You'll be intimidated by it. Number two, inside the camp, Ekang and his co will rise up against you. It takes a strong leader to say, earth open and swallow. If you are not strong, there are some decisions you will take. Your family will not like you. But as long as God says take it, take it with God and God will honor you. Be strong. There are some people in your life that will not be able to stand your resilience and your determination to serve God this year. Drop them like hot potatoes. There are changes that you are going to make with yourself. Your flesh will be crying out. I don't want to do this. I can't pray this midnight hour. Yet, you have to do it because the journey ahead of you is far but the end is glorious. There might be obstacle. Oh, David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Ah, the shadow of death will come over many this year. But they that know they are gone, they will be strong and do exploit. If you are one of them, jump to your feet and shout, Lord, renew my strength in Jesus' name. The preaching is almost ending. You will hear this word all through your life this year. Be strong and courageous. How can you be strong? How? What do you need to do to be strong? Number one, rededicate your life to God. 
If you were born again, go back to God and say, take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received you. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, where I first retrace your steps to the place where you put God first. You had genuine encounter with God. You live for God. You are not here to please people. Go back to the time I told you this year, please church hear me. Hear me from my heart. It's not a year that I can preach to please you. It's not a year that I will attend all your parties. I have a strict regime from the Lord to follow. He said if I don't follow, he will kill me. I am not dying before my time because of disobedience. I'd rather obey God and please God than you. He's taking me back to retreats. He's taking me back to consecration. He's taking me back in the world. He's taking me back to the cage, to the room, to the prayer altar. You might not see me every day, but I must see God so that when I show up here, even if this once a month, uh, something will happen in your life. Uh, child of God, listen to me. In your parties, uh, if you see any member of my leadership, you have seen me. I have a regime. Regime, or they call it what? A strict diet, a regime set by God to walk on that fine, narrow way. I can't afford to be like others. And I want to announce publicly, if we are coming to Zion to see Bridget, please, the door is open. I give you the right to go home. But if you are coming here for Jesus, whether I'm here or not, you'll be here and you will encounter God for yourself. This is the season for you to know God for yourself. Today, by the power of God, I throw away your pacifier. I throw away your feeding bottle. I throw away your milk. I throw away your mashed potato. I say, get back the strong word that will give you a backbone to stand. And be stronger if you believe shout yes I say again this is not a babysitting organization this is not a day this is Holy Ghost boot camp you are here to be trained and sent out there to manifest this year be ready to defend your faith that you like it or not, they will ask you, are you a Christian? <laughs> what makes you a Christian? What makes you different from me? Show me. This is your Jesus you are talking about. It will not grab my girl. It will be power versus power. The Illuminatics are ready. The Satanists have their agenda already running. It is only the church of Jesus Christ that is still playing games. Oh, can I tell you? If somebody told you the Lord appeared to you smiling, it's a liar. Jesus always come with tears. He said, this is not the church I died for. This is not the church I paid the price for. If somebody tell you Jesus said thank you, that's a false prophecy. Jesus is telling us you've not started. You've not as a child of God, you are still praying for daily bread. Jesus. Something is wrong with us. As a child of God, you are still begging God for a job. I think we lost it some way. Holy Ghost, take us back to where the church was born in power. Take us back to the place where, Lord God, nothing can satisfy us except your presence. Take us back to where we'll be sensitive to your word, to your voice, to your ear. Take us back, oh God, where our hearts will be ready to be moved by your spirit. Every can 
carnality in us die now. Every fleshly die now. Our Lord, may we die to our emotion and be alive in the spirit. Somebody shout amen. Number two, the word of God must be your lifeline. Have somebody else stop you from that. Child of God, the Bible says in Psalms 119, and the Lord told me every day of my life this year I must read Psalms 119, morning and evening. He said, how will a young man cleanse his way except he take heed in the word of God? The psalmist said, your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Your word is a lamb unto my feet and a light unto my path. I put my hope in your back and make Psalms 119. Your word, your precept, your testimony, your law, your statutes. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Without him was not anything created that was created. The word became flesh and dwelt amongst men and the word became the light of the world and this light shined in darkness and darkness comprehended it now. To them that believe in him he gave them power to become the sons of God faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God he said to Joshua this book not other books not the many books it's good to read other books I've written some read them but this one, this book of life, of God, shall not depart from your mouth. He said, meditate on it day and night. He said, observe to do it. Not only must you hear it, know it, but be a doer. The Bible says, blessed are the doer of his word. He said, then the thing you call prosperity will come looking for you. We missed it by preaching, name it and claim it. We miss it by preaching, touch it and receive it. We miss it by preaching. Ah, decree it and declare it and it is yours. The true preaching is go back to the word. Go back to his principle, to his precept. Go back to meditate. Go back to study the word. Study the word as if you are taking an exam the next day. Oh, I'm talking. May this word dwell richly. That means read it, meditate, regurgitate it like a sheep and chew upon it. Don't be in a rush to read the Bible in a year. Take that one verse uh, until you choose it, uh, until you press it and get the revelation in it. Don't move until the Holy Ghost teach you. This book of the law. Do you want strength? It's in the book. Do you want healing? It's in the book. Do you want wealth? It's in the book. Do you want wisdom? It's in the book. Do you want divine direction? It's in the book. Do you want favor? It's in the book. Do you want blessing? It's in the book. May we rise to our feet. If you are clapping for God, you clap. I didn't tell you to clap for me. May you rise. Baby girl, take note. It's 11.49. So you owe me. Thank you. Lift up your hands. I've just given you two. We must return to God. And we must make his word our standard of living. 
our lifestyle. When you wake up in the morning, after you've thanked the Lord, don't pick your phone. Pick the word. Before you go back at night to sleep, after you've thanked God, don't turn to your phone. Go to the word. If we do these things, and the ones I'll continue next Sunday, you will never be the same again. Amen. Lift up your hands. I release you into the hands of the Holy Ghost. You know how to pray. Remember when you first got saved. Remember how you live for God. Remember how your life was to please God. Remember how you didn't care about who say what, who thinks what. Your focus was to know him and know him deeper. Remember where we fell from. Let's rent our heart and not our clothes and return to him. Begin to talk to the Lord. You know the prayer point. And remember, last year did you grow in studying the word? Last year did you read the word? How much of the word did you grow in? And tell God this year, Lord, may I study the word? Come on, pray. You are looking around. It's left for you. This is not a season for you to know who. Yes, open your mouth, child of God. Father, take me back to the times I locked myself in for weeks just to hear you. I allow distraction to come. No. Lord, take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Lift up your hands and cry to God. It is you and your creator. The year just started today. Can you make amends? Can you rededicate yourself to God? Can you make sure? Lord, I don't want to hear the voices of the world or my flesh. I want to hear your undiluted word. Take me back, take me back, take me back, Lord. Take me back, Holy Ghost. Make your word, oh God. Give me a fresh hunger for the word. Give me a fresh zeal for the word. Give me a fresh hunger for your word. Azuki Lord, take Zion back where we came for you and not for man. Take us back to where our focus was kingdom business, not our kingdom. Lord, take us back. Take us back. Remove distraction from our life. Remove distraction. Come on, cry to God. You have three more minutes for this Talk to the Lord. Take the stage, Lord. Have your way. I don't want anybody to sing it. I'm just a vessel. Nothing when you are done, please take all glory. I'm satisfied to see you glorified. Take the stage, Lord. Have your way. I'm just a vessel. Nothing more when you are done. Come on, Dilly Mama. Please take your glory. <laughs> I'm satisfied just to see you glory. Take your stage. Take your children, Lord. Have your way. Satisfied.
I am satisfied to see you glorified. We are satisfied, Lord, to see you glorified. Don't stop talking to God. It's about you. How you start this year with God will determine how far you go. Where is your heart? Where is your commitment? Where is your determination? Where is your life? Where are you with God? Are you running your race and looking left, right, and center? The true repentance. Some of you are weeping. Let it be you are renting your heart and not your clothes. Oh, may God see your tears of rededication. Lift up your hands to God. Tell the Lord, ah, take me, take me, take me. Take me back, take me back, take me back, Lord. Take me, Lord, melt me, mold me, fill me. Anything in me that does not glorify you. Talk to God. Melt me, melt me. Father, cleanse me. Patch me with his up with the blood of Jesus. Then my stony heart to a heart of flesh. Talk to the Lord, talk to the Lord. Ariska bari I am coming myself to kneel before the cross and say, Lord, take me back to the foot of the cross. Anywhere I derail, Lord, I come back. Holy Ghost, beat my little leg back to the rail, to the train, to the narrow path. Let holiness and righteousness be my lifestyle. Let my focus be you. Child of God, it is you and God. Make a covenant with God. Make a covenant with God. Tell the Lord, as I kneel before you, Lord, I rent my heart, I rent my life, anything in it that you did not plan. Father, take it away, take it away. Holy Ghost, Karush Kabarima. Every music stop. Music, no more music, no more music. Everybody, wherever you are, go on your knees. If you can't accept those who cannot kneel, tell the Lord, I return to the foot of the cross. I return to the beginning of the journey. Father, cleanse me, melt me, mold me, fill me, and use me. Anything in me that you did not put, I give you the authority, root it, oh God. Any connection, I connected myself. Disconnect me. Any distraction. Father, flush it away. Talk to God for yourself. This year, Father, I will not play games with you. I will not play church. I will not play religion. I want a relationship. I want intimacy. Oh, my God. Oh, Father, I bring back your children to you. I start with myself, Father. Lord, you have marked the script and we have failed. Oh, God. Your madness scream out with the big Lord, your madness scream and your church did not pass. We went chasing after the shadow, after the wind, after people, after our emotion, after the things of this world to gratify the flesh. We love the real God. Some way, Father, we return as a church. We return individually and collectively as a family. Please, please. Oh, 
us mercy. <laughs> Temper judgment with mercy. <laughs> I ask for a cleansing. I ask for purification. I ask for redirection. Take away the wax from our ears. That we will hear your voice saying, this is the way. Walk ye in. Set our face as a flea, O God. We put our hands upon the plow. May we not look back. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Don't leave us just here. Continue this parade in our heart. All week, all day, all month, the rest of the year and the rest of our life, may we make you number one. May we make your word our principle by which we live our life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, we rededicate our life. Somebody shout amen. amen. Rise to your feet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Lift up your hands to God. Father, we thank you. Your word is yea and amen. Let the zeal of the Lord perform it. Everyone that came today and has heard this word and taken it to heart, I prophesy to you, 2023 is your year of divine encounter. 2023 is your year of manifestation. Father, I thank you. I stand on this declaration. Can I have that word? As I declare, can I have the card? It's in my bag, it's in the envelope. As I declare these words that you gave me in retreat, as the Holy Ghost has taken over, as you return to the Lord, as you have crossed into this year by the mercy and the grace of God, there will be no carryover. There will be no curses following you. There will be no satanic covenant. Your yeah, amen is too weak for me. Uh, poverty will not cross with you. Devourer will not cross with you. Foxes will not cross with you. Weaknesses in the bloodline will not cross with you. Evil pattern in your family will not cross with you. Unforgiveness is not going with you. Bitterness is not going with you. Gossiping is not going with you. Worldliness is not going with you. Weaknesses in your strength is not going with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, witchcraft power will not go with you. By the power and the spirit of God, you will not lack any good thing. In 2023, you will be strong and courageous. You will live a holy and a righteous life. You will have a deeper walk with the Lord. You will carry the show message of David. The Lord gives you the key of the kingdom. Your word will not fall to the ground. Whatever you bind on earth, heaven will respond. In the name of Jesus, you will have integrity in character in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be total obedience. You will walk with a sound mind. There will be order in your life. Your focus will be the kingdom of God. The zeal of the Lord will perform this. You will live a life of outstanding evidence. There will be divine influence and affluence in your life. There is divine alignment now in your life and your family. God will vindicate and validate you with signs, wonder, and miracle in the land of the living. Uh, you will be the head and not the tail. You will be above and not beneath. You will be a lender and not a borrower. Whatever you show up, you will have divine acceptance. Uh, they will give you royal treatment. Uh, you are a royal priesthood. Uh, you are an ambassador of Jesus. Uh, from today, uh, receive VIP 
treatment. From today, let heaven open over you permanently. You walk on that open heaven in the name of Jesus. You and your household, you are for signs and wonder. I release the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and add the no sorrow. I give you divine speed. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. I command the sheep of Tasha to offload their goods in your border. I call the flock of Nepal to be your portion in the name of Jesus. In the land of the living, people will see you and they will wonder. You will be a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus. Elder, get ready to sound the chauffeur three times. This year, those who favor you, God will favor them. This year, those who help you, God will help them. This year, there will be overflow in your life. Multitude will call you mother in Israel, father in Israel. You pray for on the road and the right. There is no barrenness among us. There will be no sickness and disease of the Egyptian in your household. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost has crossed you over. Keep going until you get to the promised land. You will make the kingdoms of this world to become the kingdom of our Lord. You carry power. You carry strength. You carry anointing. You carry the wisdom of God. Above all, you carry the presence of Yahweh. Arise. Subdue nations. Subdue kingdom. Conquer new territory. Rule and reign. And have evidence in the land of the living in Jesus' name. Let your amen be loud. Lift up your hands. Be attentive. When he sounds the chauffeur and end, you shout, wait, elder, wait. You shout the loudest hallelujah. You must wait until he ends. And at the third one, begin to thank God for your new year, your open heaven, the divine presence of God in your life. Are you ready? Because this is the prophetic word for you. That as a sound, heaven respond. The earth will respond. And the economy will respond to you. Okay. Elder, take your time. I think you have the chauffeur too here. Pianist. I think you have the chauffeur, pianist, on your destiny. No, elder, start again. Everybody. Be in the spirit. As a matter. Hallelujah. Elda, take your time. Don't be in a rush, sir. Where's my chauffeur? Hallelujah! The last one, John, wait, elder, wait. The last one, I want you to jump out, shout hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for my open heaven. 2023, I subdue you. I conquer you. I will reign. I will rule. I will make impact. I am here as a trade blesser. I will have influence and affluence. My season has changed. Prophesy to your life and your family. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? <laughs> I 
I am born to rule, to reign, to win. My heavens are open. 2023, I subdue you. I conquer you. I have dominion. In this year, the power of God, the presence of God will make a difference in my life, in my family, in this church. I am here to reign, to rule. 2023, come on, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Abala Kadush Kavari Maambelelebo Shata. Hey, January we subdue, February we subdue, March, April, May, and June, we take over, we take over, July, August, September, October, November, December, are you prophesying, are you prophesying, yes. prophesy, prophesy, what is it you want this year, get it, get it, get it, get it, aluski beli katuli mahande leba, hande leba, handa, ayabarara bababababaraganda, this is my year of greatness, my year. I walk in the power of God, in their fresh anointing, with the wisdom of God. I carry the presence of God wherever I go, in the name of Jesus. In 2023, those who laugh at me, in 2022, they will come to celebrate Jesus in my life. In 2023, I conquer you by the power of God. I will be blessed. I will pray for on the right, on the left. I am blessed going out, blessed coming in, blessed in the city. Zion men, women and children, we are here to be the light of the world and the sword of the earth. We walk in holiness, righteousness and abundance. Azuka Pali Kalush Kavarama. Child of God, prophesy. There is power in your tongue. What do you want? That in this year they will see God in my life. It won't be a talk, it will be action. Everywhere I go, I will carry God by the wisdom of God, by the knowledge and the understanding of God. Don't keep your mouth short. It is what you desire that you will get. Ah, I and my children, we are for signs and wonder. Zion will rise up to the top again. Zion will be the light of the world. In this house, we will preach the undiluted word of God. No one will come in here and go back the same. 2023, hear ye the voice of the Lord. We apprehend you and we subdue you on our feet. We walk as royalty. We conquer. We rule. We reign. And in this year and the rest of our life, we walk on the open heaven and we make impact. In Jesus' name. Whatever you have prophesied, so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Quickly be seated. Let's take our tithe. Let's take our tithe. Let's take our tithe. Quickly. The first tithe. Hear me, child of God. This is the year of those who obey the word. I want to beg you to obey because there's a blessing behind obedience. This book of the law. When you obey it, there is evidence. Lift up your tights to the Heavenly Father. Azuntu mahitali hupala hatushka valaba. Zititi tututu pataka to pokotipa katapa katushka valima adiliga dudu mahiti kadushka ba. Agulima harushko varaba. It's a year of obedience. It's a year of obedience. <laughs> They that obey your word, wherever they go, they will prosper and have good success. Because they brought their tithe on the first day of the year. Father, on tithe, the blessings that belong to the righteous, to the remnant, release it into their life. May your word come true. He said, this year, my word is what will vindicate and validate them. May your word... May the zeal of the Lord perform his word. Hallelujah. That in your life, there will be no retrogression except progression. There will be no minuses, only increase. There will be no weakness. When they left Egypt, the Bible said there was none weary among them. You will not be weary this year. You will not be stranded this year. You will not be slowed down. You go by the speed of God. With your tithe, Malachi 3:10 to 12. And the bread that Mekishedek gave to 
Abraham and the wine and present the communion and the blood of Jesus. May it never cease to flow in your life. In Jesus' name. Lay your tithe at the altar. Congratulations for your new year. I say congratulations for a new season. Quickly, let's turn with our let's turn with our offering. Let's turn. Azumandala Baba Baba. I feel the presence of God. Azikuliba Shataliba. Zukabali Kadushkova. Oh, thanksgiving. Thank you, Dickiness. Let's first take offering. We'll take that quickly. Take your offering. Take your offering quickly. The heavens are so open. Please, no traffic outside. This is a very crucial moment. Ushers, this is very important. There is an anointing oil. The Lord asked me to anoint his children. If you miss it today, you missed it. I don't know. It's a special oil. When I went to the shop looking for it, there was only one bottle left. Stand with your offering. Is that your offering or your tithe? Tithe. May the Lord bless you and your mother and your sister. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Give to the Kabbalah. Stand with your offering quickly. Because of time, the ushers get the bowl ready. They are going to stand right there, dance, and give their offering. Because during the anointing, they will dance and come forward. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Take your offering. Would you raise your offering before the Lord today? Father, on this first day of the year, in the name of Jesus, as every hand is lifted to give, so shall heaven release into your life this year. In the name of Jesus, you shall gather the spoils of times and season. Amen. In the name of Jesus, only the best will come to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every good and perfect thing will be your portion in the name of Jesus. As you give, God will arrange people in your pathway Amen. that will effortlessly give and bless you. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 